Good morning, everybody. <laughs> We're in a bit of a different setup here. I'm, um, I'm in my new office. I know. We're in a new chapter. I thought it was about time that you and I have a sit down and do a bit of a daily vlog because things have changed quite a little bit in my life recently and I feel like I want to share it with you. And um, so here we are. Welcome to Cherry HQ. I live by myself now. Okay, so where do we start? I guess three years ago, I moved out from my parents' house in 2019 and I moved here with cameraman Chris and his other half and we've been living and working together for like three years. It's been a fun ride. But recently, they've moved out. <laughs> and before anyone's like, oh my God, what's happened? Spill the tea. There's no tea. They've just moved out. Chris is still my best friend. He's still my editor. He's still gonna be cameraman Chris um, when when I need him to be really, because I am going to be filming a lot more on this channel on my own. You've probably not even noticed that much, but a lot of the past few videos I've actually filmed by myself. So yeah, I thought I would start this chapter because I'm not going to lie, I've never lived by myself before and it was a little bit daunting, I've got to say, but I think it's a really positive chapter. It's a new start. And I can't wait to just bring you along with me because I, this house is mine now and I can, I can show you a la around a little bit more. I've never wanted to do that when I've lived with other people out of respect for their privacy and that. And it's just not comfy filming like this with other people around. So there's the big news. I guess I will show you around a little bit what the house looks like right now and yeah, let's just, I also want to pop out today. I want to, um, I might go to B&M or something like that. And there's a few little bits that I need to get. There's a lot that needs to get done. <laughs> this is the lounge. It's probably very echoey right now because it's basically, apart from the TV and a table, it's empty. The sofas have gone. It needs cleaning, ignore the floor. But yeah, so this is the living room and the sofas have gone they've gone to a new home and i've actually ordered some brand new ones from a shop called loaf so this is going to be empty for a little while i am actually adopting some sofas tonight some of my best friends are letting me foster one of their sofas that they want to get reupholstered and i said i'll take it on till april because that's that's when my sofas are due um <laughs> So I'm gonna, I am gonna have a sofa and I'll be able to watch TV, but this room feels a lot bigger, I'm not gonna lie, seeing it this empty, it's, it's weird, it's a new chapter, but I'm so excited to decorate. I've gotta get some prints for the walls, I'm not sure what I wanna put on these walls yet. The sofa's gonna be here, it's a big Bagsy loaf sofa, and then I've got an armchair for over here. Um, I think I might want a coffee table or a rug, but for now, I think I'm actually going to clean this room today because I thought <laughs> this might do as a really nice workout space for the next few weeks, especially if I've only got one sofa in here later. So I guess I want to clean it. So we'll do that later. Let me show you a little bit more. The hallway is feeling extremely empty there used to be like a big shoe rack here um but that's gone because it wasn't mine um so i definitely want a shoe rack and i want a big mirror for this wall as well but i'm not going to do that yet because i'm actually getting my front door replaced in less than a month so i'm not going to plan until and the door's like changing which way around it's good don't ask but anyway um, the kitchen, the kitchen's not changed that much, if I'm being completely honest. I've got my beautiful Anglia print up there, but yes, the kitchen's not changed. I absolutely love this kitchen. The only thing it's changed is we used to have three prints up here. This one's mine, then there was Chris's girlfriend, and then there was Chris's, and we all said when we leave we'll take our custom artworks with us and they all used to fit as one so yeah that's a little bit sad that it's it's now looking a bit eerie and empty um but yeah i have started buying 
some house bits and I think I'm actually gonna do a house haul. So I'm not gonna go through these with you today, but yeah, so there's the kitchen and I'm just excited to make this place a home. Now the office, um, I've got two brand new artworks to come here. They're gonna be the same size as this Mina Lima print. This is my uh, premium time turner. Uh, this is number 219 out of 250. So I've bought two more prints from Mina Lima and I've gotta get the frames this weekend and they're gonna go here. Um, I've actually got them down here and the way they present their prints is so nice. They, they're in like this scroll. I'm not gonna get them out right now, but I will show you them at some point. But they're really lovely, so I cannot wait to get those on the wall. Uh, I've just bought a new office chair. This is not mine. Um, I'm borrowing it from Cameraman Chris. Um, so I've just bought one of those and it's a, what did I get? It was a steel case Leap V2 and it's not gonna be here for another like five weeks, I think. And this moves me on to a filing cabinet. I know, how exciting. This is actually gonna go up the corner. I haven't unraveled it yet. <laughs> so I need to unwrap it and then I've bought loads of files, swing files that are gonna go in here just so I can organize my life a little bit better. So I'm gonna have a personal drawer, a work drawer, and then a home drawer. I was like, it's time to be adult now. So yeah, I just wanna keep really organized, I guess, with my life and my files now that this whole house is my responsibility. And yeah, I guess I've never really experienced that before. Um, this is the guest room. Um, I've, it's been nice and cleaned. Oh, you can't see, it's like walking into the sun because the windows are so big. But yeah, so really nice guest room. And then an ensuite. So I think this is the room I'm most excited about because it's literally like <laughs> a fresh canvas. And um, yeah, just can't wait to decorate it and have a nice place for guests. Now the studio, has changed quite a little bit. <laughs> I've got space. This is where my desk used to be. In fact, you can see where my desk used to be because um, I've got all the artwork where it used to be. I need to take those down and find new homes for some of them. But this is what my studio looks like now. I've got a brand new filming desk. This actually used to be Cameron Chris's desk, but he donated it to me. We've put massive casters on the bottom so that we can also move it around um but yeah we've just managed to put all the filming stuff now in the middle of the room so that's why the shelf um positioning has changed in the new videos because it's here um this is where um b camera normally goes but I'm currently using that right now and this is what it looks like when i film so i've got a microphone this is the an aperture key light, my main light. Um, there's another light over here that turns on usually. And then I have remotes. So this is for my shelf lighting. This is for all the studio lights. So if I press A, it'll turn that one on. In fact, I'll show you. Lumos. <laughs> so there we have that. Um, this controls that camera. And then I actually have another remote that will control that camera. So I'm now filming by myself with two cameras, which is definitely a challenge, but hey, we love to see it. So there's the studio. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my God, do a house tour. <clears throat> and I will, but I'm not gonna do it yet because the house is like not how I want it right now. I've only lived solo for a few days. Am I loving it? Yeah, I'm quite enjoying it, to be honest. It's peaceful. I can do things at my own pace. Um, yeah, I think I am enjoying it. I think I'm gonna get used to it as well. Um, but yeah, I think I wanna do a little bit of shopping because there's a lot of stuff that I don't have. So I know I'm gonna do a home haul, but I've bought these little plastic tub things from Ikea. I'm actually going there again tomorrow with my parents. But um, I wanna like be that bitch. <laughs> I want to organize under my sinks. I want to label them, because um, at the moment, let me tell you, there is no organization down here. Um, and I just really want to do it. So this is the state of under one of my sinks. This is my laundry cupboard, 
like my utility sink and yeah as you can see it's not organized at all so I think I want to sort that out I don't know whether I'll do that today probably not maybe next week um but yeah there is quite a few things on my shopping list so I guess let's go I'm in I'll tell you what I had my car cleaned um the other day because it was horrendous I'd not got it cleaned for ages and I was like please make it new again <laughs> so it smells really nice because they put um they put a little air freshener in and I've got to say I'm enjoying it I normally take that kind of stuff out but it smells so good <sighs> sorry I'm worn out I've just brought the bins in um I'm gonna go to a little retail park I think and just have a little tootle around see what see what there is to get um, I need to like really generic boring things like like toilet bins and uh, hand towels for 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 bathrooms and stuff um, and maybe some cleaning bits uh, definitely need some carpet bits I've run out of my carpet spray but yeah let's roll I'm gonna stick a podcast or some music on and go. <laughs> Bruno walks in with a mischievous grin. She's arrived at B and M bargains. I'm not going to take you in with me. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those vloggers that's a bit nervous on their own vlogging. But yeah, I'm going to go have a little shop. I'll show you what I got when I get back. But yeah, it's quite busy considering it's like fr Friday morning. It's eleven. Um, but yes, there she blows. B and M bargains. I am ready to shop till I drop. I am back in the car. I think I've just bought half of B&M. Um, <laughs> I spent 80 pounds, which is a lot to spend in a bargain shop. Um, and then I popped to Poundland and bought two bins because I'm after toilet bins. And when I got back to the car, I noticed that one was completely dented. So I had to return it and get it refunded because all the others on the shelf were a bit damaged as well. Either way, I think I'm going to pop to the range now because I I want some containers for dishwasher tablets, so yeah, onwards. Honestly guys, I don't know whether to be embarrassed by how much I bought or impressed. I think I'm impressed, to be honest. Right, time to get all this into the house. I'm home, I'm inside. Um, <laughs> I'm just looking at everything that I bought. Now I know that this may look quite a lot to some of you guys, but um, I now have a whole house and there's bits that needs furnishing, I needed more cleaning products, there's a lot of bits and bobs that I wanted as well. So just to give you a little oversight, so I've got many bags down here, a few bits on the table, the stuff at the back I already had, but um, I will do you a proper home haul very soon. Um, I'll tell you what I am excited about though, these are delicious, I don't know if any of you guys have tried them. Um, not spawn, but yeah, they're like little choco shells. They're divine. I'm excited for this tasty cheese pasta salad that I found in um, Poundland, of all places. Um, this is my favorite bath soak. It's called Moonlit Skies. I'm just about to run out of one that I've had for ages. Um, and they've got new bottles now, which I'm a bit sad about. I really liked their round white ones, but either way, if you've never smelt this, oh, it just makes bath time so good. What else? Um, got some of this, Carpet Fresh. Um, this is amazing. I discovered this last year and it's like, once you've vacuumed your carpets, you then give it a shake and spray it and it will just, you don't have to do anything, you just leave it. And it just makes your room and carpet smell so good. It says it eliminates odors at source. It's quick drying, fine, fine foam. And this is the Spring Blossom, a mandarin one. I've tried them all and this one is by far the nicest. This is exciting, it's not. I bought some, I've never used this before. I don't know if it works. It, I think I got this one from B&M and it's Resolver Lawn Weed Killer and it doesn't kill the lawn, just the weeds. So I've got a lawn now and I really can't be bothered to mow it. So I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I might find someone to come do the lawn for me. Um, I'm just not very good at that kind of thing, but we do get quite a lot of weeds. They live next to a field. So I would like to get rid of those. And then last but not least, the things that I'm gonna show you, some porridge oat, pots because sometimes I just want to get on with work in the mornings and I really can't bother to do like a crazy breakfast uh, in fact I never want to do a crazy breakfast and these you just add boiling water from a kettle so I stocked up on those but everything else that is in those bags and everything I'm definitely going to be doing a homework haul soon because 
Girls have been buying a lot of stuff. Um, so watch out for that. I think now I'm going to eat this and then I think I'm going to, I think I'm actually gonna clean the lounge um, and then move all of this stuff into there because I don't really want it in the kitchen. And I might even film my home haul in there next week, maybe. Um, so yeah. There's your update. I have shopped until I dropped. Um, I love solo shopping. I much prefer it than going shopping with people because you can just take your time. And yeah, it's it's nice. It's very therapeutic. Let's talk about this Dave Chappelle scandal and pile on. And, I mean, there have been a lot of claims, a lot of potential misinformation. And... <laughs> I know, I know what you're thinking. I'm a fashion icon. I'm about to vacuum. I've just swept the entire room. Uh, I've also been around the skirting boards. Um, and <laughs> not to be crass and not to be crude, but I just nearly had an orgasm. I bought this today. It's Rhubarb and Cassis The Flora Multi-Purpose Disinfectant. Um, it looks like these. And <laughs> I want to drink it. Don't drink disinfectant, but it smells so good. Oh, if you ever see this, I recommend it. Um, also, I just had a phone call from um, Loaf. Uh, they are the people that I bought my sofa from, and they said that it's gonna be arriving end of April, so that'll be a nice late birthday gift to me. This is the sample that um, my sofa's gonna be. It's kinda like, let me see if I can show you a bit better. There you go, oh, that light's nicer. It's um, mouse gray, and it's a clever, deep velvet so you girls get in so look it up look at the bagsy sofa but yeah it's gonna go over here and then i've got a cucumber sandwich chair to go here it's so cute we're going for green gray wood and plants so we're going for a boho kind of natural um forest escape in here that's that's i think the vibe that i'm gonna go for i've already got some plants up there that was actually given to me by one of you guys. Um, you made like a little herbology plant thing for me, so thanks very much. Anyway, I'm just gonna go vacuum, then I think I'm gonna mop, I know. Um, and whilst I've got you, I've just remembered, so many of you guys asked me where this jumper's from. Um, I bought it, I got sucked in by an Instagram ad, I'm not gonna lie, it's from a shop called Cider, like the drink, Cider, and um, yeah, it's actually really nice, the quality's good, I recommend, right. Back to vacuuming, I've currently got Taylor Swift on in the background, so. Next task of the day is cleaning this. Look at that window. Um, I'm cleaning this because I didn't realize it was still full. So I'm gonna clean the window so it's all nice because I'm actually getting my, this is a wood burning stove in my lounge and I'm actually getting the chimney swept next month, so I'm gonna make this all nice, so it's good for them. I never had a log burning stove before I moved here, and I found it really interesting that to clean all the soot off the window, you basically wet a piece of tissue, uh, sorry, newspaper, dip it in the ash from the old fire, and then you clean it, and then it'll come up new. So this is it now, pretty mucky, can't really, see much through it and um, I'll show you it afterwards. And there we have it, nice and clean and you can fully see through it. I've got mucky hands but yeah, God, it takes a little bit of elbow grease but it's very satisfying to clean these, I must say. <laughs> I have finished the lounge. <laughs> that took a while, it smells beautiful in here. Um, this is all clean. I've just mopped the floor. <laughs> so it's super clean, ready for brand new furniture. It's ready for a sofa that's gonna go here. Need some artwork up here. And then an armchair and some stuff here. Ignore the stuff on the bookshelf that needs sorting out. And I'm gonna create this into like a, a little bit of a decor 
cute little decor corner. So that's going to be cute. But yeah, we're all clean. I don't know about you guys, but cleaning is such therapy to me. Um, just clean the mirror as well, but oh yeah, surround me with cleaning products and I'm a very happy, I'm a very happy woman. So, right, I think, uh, what time is it now? It's quarter to four. Um, I think I need to review a video soon. Um, I need to clear up a little bit because I made a little bit of a mess. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna chill for a bit until Katie and Jeff come. Um, because they are bringing me my foster sofa. Um, also, I know that this is gonna be in the home haul, but I've been looking for one of these for so long. This is a shelf rack, large. Uh, I think I got this from the range, but it means that when you put tins in a cupboard, you can also put extra on top. It kind of like saves shelf space. So I'm really excited to use that. I'm honestly just excited to put everything away and clean everything and find homes and start organizing things because i've been dreaming about living alone for so long um like i was definitely a little bit anxious about it but now i'm just like i've got a whole house it's like my little playground um <laughs> whew, right i'm gonna hydrate because i have not had a drink all day um do any of you guys do that I just got very rudely interrupted by a DPD man. Um, my, ugh, my Gymshark order has just arrived. So I'll show you that in a minute. But I was saying before he startled me, I mean, there's one thing that's bad about living on your own is I jump at everything now, which is really weird because I never used to do that before. Um, but yeah, so he just knocked on my window. He's like, your doorbell's not working. And I was like, oh, so I pressed it in front of him. Ding dong, I was like, hmm. Yeah, it does work. Anyway, um, I was saying that, do you guys go like a full day? Like it's quarter to four and I've drank like half a cup of tea this morning, but haven't drank anything since and it's really bad. Um, I have apps on my phone that tell me to drink every hour, but it's just got to the point where I'm just ignoring it. So if any of you guys have any tips on how to stay hydrated, do let me know um because it's a bit of a problem right i'm gonna have a drink and then i'll show you what i got from gymshark shall i right this was very much an impulse <laughs> purchase last night um girl wants to start working out again and <laughs> i saw this color you guys will realize why i bought this because it's one of my favorite colors um <laughs> can you tell i like purple uh <laughs> let's open one so First, I bought some new Gymshot leggings and they're in this beautiful pastel purple, like, hello, come to mama. Um, I get mine in a size medium. Pretty much all of my gym wear is Gymshark. So I got the leggings, because they're good for running in, they're good for just general working out. Um, I also got the little sports bra, which, I am obsessed with they're really comfortable um so that's good so that's a nice little cute set uh, the next piece i got i didn't even know that these existed but they're like it's like shorts but in shorts <laughs> they're um oh, it looks way better on the model but they're, they're shorts underneath so the same as the leggings but then they've got this kind of like flowy they're like skorts skirt shorts and I just thought oh, those are so cute someone's coming and I just wanted a cute color because I want to start working out and buying gym wear it motivates me to work out make it make sense but yeah so I am thinking of starting working out in here soon now that it's all clean my gym mat can come in here for a bit but yeah I didn't realize these would come so quickly um but yeah, what do you guys think? Are you a fan of Gymshark? I am a big fan and I can't wait to add these to my collection and just wear them. <laughs> Cause honestly, I haven't worked out since like October. I know. Um, 2020, I was at like my peak fitness and I was running, I was going to the gym, had a personal trainer doing strength training. 
um, for the first time in my life. I'm not shy about saying that. And then 2021 came and um, more lockdowns happened and I got into running with the couch to 5K, C to 5K thing. Um, and that was great, really enjoyed it. And then I just stopped and decided to eat everything under the sun because I wanted to. And no regrets, Christmas was great. But now summer's come in, I'm, I want to look nice. I want to feel nice and I want to get out of the house. Um, I've got a really bad habit of just not going out, except maybe a shop or two, but I never go for walks. I never go out for good mental health reasons and for fresh air and just to get out. Um, and I miss it and it was doing my brain good. So I would like to do more of that soon. Anyway, what do you guys do to feel good? Let me know, but um, I'm so fashionable today. Right, I'm gonna go chill. I'll speak to you in a bit. Good evening, it's now the evening. Katie and Jeff have just been. I'm still rocking my side messy pony. Uh, I've now got a foster sofa. Um, this is one of their sofas that they're gonna get reupholstered. So the back is leather and it's a bit cracked. So I've put this like really soft blanket on there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have somewhere to sit until April now, because otherwise there would have been no sofa at all. Um, it's quite cute with this on there. Oh, I've got a little sofa. That's quite nice. Thank you very much, Katie and Jeff. Um, what legends. I'm the fosterer of this sofa, so quite pleased about that. So, yeah, I think I might wrap up the vlog. Um, I'm not really doing much else today. I'm going to review a video that Karen and Chris has edited for me today and get that scheduled for tomorrow. You've probably already seen it by now. It's the Pop Mart um, unboxings and then I'm gonna call my mum for like an hour and have dinner so thank you for watching um, let me know your thoughts on this kind of vlog it's just my day-to-day -day life <laughs> yeah I know it's not the most exciting but it's what my life is at the moment it's uh, a new chapter and I'm looking forward to it I'm excited about the future and I'm excited to make some Pinterest boards as well and do room by room so that could be quite exciting <laughs> but yeah all right guys well if you did enjoy this vlog and you would like me to do more in the future let me know by giving it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here um, and I'll see you next time I hope you've all had a lovely day doing whatever you're doing um, <laughs> alright guys, see you soon.